Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Kevin Cosby here in Louisville, Kentucky at the St. Stephen Church TV studios with another powerful point to ponder as we spend meaningful moments with the Master on a daily basis. Thank you for joining us as we travel together on this theme about freedom. Christ wants us to have dominion, to be in control, and not to be manipulated by the tricks of Satan that seeks to have us bound and all tangled up in things that destroy our lives and delay our progress. Whom the Son sets free is free indeed. And we're breaking down the word freedom. And we discovered that F in freedom stands for face your bondage. Face your bondage. I got to face those things that are destructive to my life. Those things that, that I will engage in and throw all caution to the wind. Don't care what the consequences are. That is a sign of bondage. So face your bondage. R in free means relinquish control of your life. And we talked about that yesterday. But let's expand that because that's a critical point. And that is to relinquish control to God. The surrendering to God is so critical. Um, if you think you're the prime minister of the universe, you're not. God is. You have to relinquish control to God. Now, what does that mean? Well, we're going to look at the word recovery. And this is what it means to truly recover from something that has you bound. And we're going to look at what's called the Beatitudes. And these are, I think, um, fundamental to the, what Jesus taught and what it means to truly be a Christ follower. I think the essence of, of the Christian faith is found in Matthew chapter 5, chapter 6, and chapter 7. If you can, can, can embrace what's called the Sermon on the Mount, chapter 5, chapter 6, chapter 7, I think you've captured the very essence of what it means to be a Christ follower. But he has something called the Beatitudes. Uh, these teachings um, that reflect the value system of the followers of Jesus Christ. And here it is, especially as it, as it relates to bondage. Here we go. We're going to spell out the word recovery. And the R means realize. Now, what do I need to realize if I'm going to recover? Realize I'm not God. I'm not God. The poet said, I can't. You never said I could. God, you can. You always said you would. Realize I'm not God. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 3 says, blessed are the poor in spirit. That means the humbled, which says, you know, I'm not as bad as I think I am. I've got a habit. I try to act like I got it together. I don't have it together. I, re I realize I'm not God. That to, to be poor in spirit does not mean to be poor spirited. It means to be humble. It means to recognize that I need God. The E is this. Earnestly believe God exists and I matter to God, that I matter to God. I recognize I'm not God, but there is a God and I matter to God. Matthew chapter five and verse four, blessed are those who mourn for they shall be comforted. In other words, you ask God, do I matter to you? God says, I'm going to comfort you. I'm going to show you how much you matter to me. Earnestly believe God exists. C means this, consciously choose to commit your life to Christ, his care, his control. Consciously, I'm consciously committing my life to God's care and God's control. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 9, blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. The O in recovery means openly examine and confess my faults to God. God this is my issue. This is what I'm struggling with. You know what it is. And the problem is not that God doesn't know what it is. God knows what it is. But we try to be in denial about what it is. And God wants us to come clean to him, to openly examine and confess our faults to God. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 8 says, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. V means voluntarily, listen, Submit to the changes that God wants to make in your life. God's going to make some changes in your life. And usually God makes those changes when you're in fellowship with other believers. That's why everybody needs to be a part of a small group like a Sunday school class so that you have an accountability partner. Voluntary submit 
to the changes God wants to make in your life. Matthew chapter five and verse six. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. They shall be filled. God wants you to hunger. Hunger and thirst are desperate people. God wants us to be desperate to want to change. And guess what? If you're desperate and want to change and you hunger and thirst for righteousness, the Bible says, amen, that you will be filled. E, evaluate all your relationships. Hello, somebody. Because sometimes we're in bondage because we, we are with the wrong people. You have to change your playmates and your playgrounds. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 7 says this, Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. R, reserve time daily with God for prayer and self-examination. So, God, how, how did I do today? God, I confess that I relapsed into something that you have delivered me from, something I surrender to you. Daily, e examine your life. Celebrate your victories. Thank God for the times when you were able to overcome and God gave you the strength to overcome something that has been holding you in bondage. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 6 again says, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness and they shall be filled. And then finally, why? Y stands for yield to be used of God to bless someone else. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 16 says, In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Amen. Listen to me. God wants you to experience recovery. And isn't it interesting that the last word in the word recovery is the word very, which is the Greek word for Amen. And God wants to add an amen to your recovery. And when you ask God, God, can you help me recover? Can you help me relinquish control? Can you help me get a grip on this bondage? God says, very, verily, verily I say unto you, or amen, yes I can. And God wants to help you, but God helps you by L, facing your bondage and, and, and R, relinquish control to God. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you for your word today. Set us free. Set us free for whom the Son sets free is free indeed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for being with me with another powerful point to ponder. If you don't have a church home, listen, you need a church home. You need to be around Christians. Christians who can help you grow pour into your life and you can pour into their life. If you don't have a church home, contact us here at St. Stephen Church, New Start. That's our email, newstart at ssclive.org. Peace and blessings to you. Thanks again for being with me today. And we'll get back on this theme tomorrow. But until then, during COVID-19, don't forget to stay safe, stay sane. And if you can't, stay home. I'll see you tomorrow.